Hi hey everyone, my name is Mara Hill. I'm the clinical manager with Alaska Behavioral Health, and I'll be talking briefly today about how trauma can impact the brain. So this is how our brain processes under what we call typical conditions. Um, when we're feeling safe and feeling calm, our brain can do all of these steps pretty quickly because it's really efficient. But when our brain interprets something as dangerous, it skips a bunch of those steps to save time and keep us safe. So when our brain has interpreted something as being a threat to us, it goes straight, um, straight from interpreting to acting, usually via fight, flight, or freeze. When we've been exposed to trauma, something that can happen is that alarm system can become the main road. Our brain says, hey, we're usually in a dangerous situation. We don't often have time to process, evaluate options or plan. We're gonna jump straight to act. And this can keep us safe in some instances, but it can cause problems in a lot of environments. So a lot of what we're doing when we're working with folks who've experienced trauma using evidence-based practices is retraining the brain to make that alarm system the express route and to get back on the main road under most circumstances so that we can do all of these steps and get back to interpreting, um, processing, evaluate options, and planning before we act. Thanks so much, everyone.